approaching the one minute mark in the count now, T minus one minute. And the astronaut crew, Carr, Gibson, and Pogue just about completed their pre flight preparations. Bill Pogue just brought up the spacecraft batteries. They're online now and they're giving extra electrical power to the spacecraft at lift liftoff, and they also act as a backup to the fuel cells. Last action taken by the crew, just being done now by spacecraft Camaro commander Gerald Carr at T minus 45 seconds and uh, he made the final guidance alignment that done from the spacecraft. T minus 28 seconds and continuing to count. Launch vehicle now on internal power. Status board shows all stages on internal power on the flight batteries. T minus 18 seconds. T minus 16. Count continuing to go smoothly. T minus 13. We'll look for an ignition at T minus 2.1 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, we have a liftoff. Liftoff, the engine is building up to 1.6 million pounds of thrust in Skylab. It is moving slowly off the pad. It's cleared the tower. CDR. 30 seconds, pitch and roll program started. Skylab now maneuvering to its proper flight path attitude. Mark 35 seconds, one nautical mile in altitude. Mark 40 seconds, given a green light by range safety. Mark 45 seconds, given pressure leaving. Adjusting, uh, Roger. She looks good so far. Oh, that's beautiful. Getting that maximum dynamic pressure there. That, that Have point. Houston, your feet wet and everything's looking real good. Copy, feet wet. Mark, one minute, 12 seconds. I'd call out from Capcom Dick Truly. Says Skylab now capable of water, water landing. There's the old con. One minute, 18 seconds. That's how you tell where the guts of that uh, point are. Skylab uh, passing through a period of maximum aerodynamic pressure now. What a beautiful sight. Mark, ah, one minute, 30 seconds. Altitude. You haven't seen one of those in a long time, Walter. No, sir. One minute, 35 seconds pass through Max-Q. Skylab still flying steady and stable on all eight engines. You're getting a beautiful picture on your television set. Roger, Jerry. And by the naked eye here in an absolutely, perfectly blue sky, magnificent sight. Mark, one minute, 54 seconds of status check and mission control by Flight Director Phil Schaffer. Go, no, go for staging. Given a go for staging. Now, Lab Houston, you're looking good. You're go for staging. Roger. Mark, two minutes, four seconds. Coming up now on engine shutdown and staging. Skylab now 22 nautical miles in altitude, 21 nautical miles downrange. Hmm. We've never seen one like this with the naked eye, I don't think. Just, just, just taking. Look at Roger. the coming out. Two, one. There's the staging. They're staging. Engine shut down. You can see it from here with the naked eye as well as that great picture you've got on television. S4B has ignited. Two minutes, 35 seconds, 36 nautical miles. Now, Lab Houston, the thrust looks good on S4B. Roger, so those good. fins did their job. They surely did. Second staging on time. Car Gibson Pogue now riding on a good sta uh, second stage engine coming up now on launch escape tower jettison. 43 nautical miles in altitude. Yeah. Now you Roger see that. Tower jettison, your mode two. Great picture. A great picture of that big launch tower, that launch escape tower that would, uh, on that earlier stage of the flight, pull the command module free from the rocket, so that it could, uh, so that it could parachute safely back to a landing in the ocean, not need it any longer. Now the command module can separate itself and fly its way back. In fact, what a picture today. Smooth as glass, Houston. <laughs> Smooth Roger, as glass. We had a beautiful picture on TV all the way. It looks real good.